as we get ready for what is just a mammoth weekend here in Cleveland. Huge. It's going to spill all the way into Monday. So we've talked about every angle possible concerning Monday's eclipse. How to watch, what to expect. Do you need glasses? When do you put them on? When can you take them off? All of that. But there's one thing we haven't talked about. What effect will the eclipse have on animals? How will they respond during the nearly four minutes of totality? So we hope you'll all be tuning into our coverage where our intrepid wildlife correspondent, <laughs> Mike Folk Jr., will be enjoying the experience from the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. He actually really loves the zoo. But before then, he headed over there to ask the big questions, if you will. Did you hear the news? The sun is just going to up and quit on us for a few minutes in the middle of the darn day on Monday. Of course, humans are reacting to the celestial marvel in a predictable human way, organizing day drinking events, exploiting the event for financial gain, with a smattering of fear mongering mixed in for good measure. You know, human stuff. But what about these guys? Or these rascals? Or these little sweeties? How are animals going to react to the eclipse, if at all? Will they even notice? Will the random midday darkness upset and confuse them? Or is this just the chance they've all been waiting for to take over while our guards are down? And why don't these guys seem too stressed about the whole situation? With such an array of erratic animal eclipse questions, where better to go than right to the source? Andy Kornack of the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo was kind enough to speak with me on the subject. Much like animals in our own backyard, our animals at the zoo are gonna react in a similar way. They'll act similar to when it's dusk time, when the sun is setting, you'll hear birds chirping, they'll start to go up to roost for the evening, they'll get quiet while it's dark, and then when the, it starts to light back up, they wake up, they start chirping and go back to their normal life. They roll with these things better than we do, probably. <laughs> this isn't gonna wig any of these animals out or cause them any stress. No, if you think about it, you know, the eclipse is gonna be similar to 80% of the days in Cleveland where it could be really cloudy, the sun goes away, it gets dark or a storm rolls in. Mm -hmm. Animals are very adept to uh, shifting with those changes. I am going to go offer some soft encouragement to some of these animals and make sure that they're okay through all of this. Okay. Tell them that everything's going to be fine. Hey, Condor. Uh, I'm just kind of going around to the different zoo exhibits and letting the animals know about this eclipse that's coming. Just so you know, for a couple of minutes, the sun, the moon, how does that work? Yes, the moon goes in front of the sun. No, the shadow of, I don't know how it works. The point is it's gonna be dark, Condor. Nothing to freak out about, just keep a stiff upper lip. It's just gonna get dark for like just a couple of minutes. Maybe take that couple of minutes and just do some soul searching. Don't stampede, it's just a natural event that happens now and again. You don't get to just call it a day. You still are working at the zoo even though it's dark. So I just need everybody to stay on their A game during this even when it gets dark. And I'm looking at you, flamingos. I feel better. I think our viewers feel better. So the animals are going to be OK through the eclipse. They're going to be great. This seems like a great place to watch the eclipse. What do you guys have going on? As we know, Mondays are free, free for zoo all Monday. residents yeah. in Cuyahoga County and Hinckley Township. And it's also National Zoo Lovers Day. <sighs> Boy. And I think that's really the headliner here. In advance, happy zoo day. Happy National Zoo Lovers Day. That's it. Happy National Zoo Lovers Day. She said it right.